Hello and welcome to the new channel AAR On Air News. This is a channel with its programmes coming out from time to time and more ad hoc rather than on a regular basis or regular time slots. It will have programmes with snippets of tests and news and maybe a little gossip. Now I would suggest the first thing you do is hit the subscribe button and also click the alarm notification bell to make sure you're informed when the new programmes come out because they will be infrequent. In this week's programme, the first one, we'll be looking at some news of a couple of new releases due. Some new releases just out, some accessories for your guns and even a security item that any potential gated landowner may well be interested in. And maybe a hint as to what is coming on the main AAR channel. Hopefully that will whet your appetite and has something of interest to you. Let's start this week with some news of what has recently been released, shall we? Well, recently Umarex under the Smith & Wesson label released a couple of new pistols. The 629 and the M29 or Dirty Harry 44 Magnum replica. I have reviewed both of these on the main channel in the initial launch versions, which were the BBs in the six and a half inch length. Well, they have now released the full range of lengths and ammunition types. The latest one to be released are the Model 29 three inch in BB form and the eight and three eighths inch in pellet format. <laughs> oh, yeah, see you just pulling that one out. Good grief. So you now have Eight and three eighths in BB and pellet, the same for the six and a half inch version, and the funky stubby three and a half inch in BB only. Don't say you never get enough choice. The 626s are now available in six and a half and five inch in both BB and pellet version. Again, full choice. I really like both of these new revolvers and the M29 does have that real 50s feel to it and makes you feel every bit the Dirty Harry character. <laughs> As always, they have the really great quality finish that we've all come to expect from Umarex. So, what else is on the horizon? Well, we have news from Airgun Technologies, or AGT as they're more widely known in the UK, that they are adding to their already quite extensive and super accurate range. Not content with the outrageous and yet addictive Uragan King, they will be adding the Uragan Prince to the range, which is a twin tank design, the same as the King, but with a smaller 360mm choked barrel and smaller twin air tanks from the new Uragan Compact. Not content with that, the King will also have a new Uragan 2 link with a 600mm barrel which will not be choked. Slug time. The new Uragan 2 will have 600 and 700mm length barrels and they won't be choked either. Finally, there will be the new Uragan 2 compact which will be choked. I feel some real slug testing coming and maybe at some longer distances. Which will be on the main channel when they're launched. Hopefully that should be around June time this year, 2022. Oh, and if that wasn't enough, they've been talking to Vector Air and will have all of them in a choice of stocks, which will include synthetic, walnut, red laminate, green laminate and wait for it, carbon. Now, as always with AGT, a version 2 does not mean a replacement to the previous number or version gun. It is an addition to the range to give as much choice as possible to the end user. It's all about choice today. As already stated, all of these should hopefully be hitting the UK supplier around June time this year. Rest assured, as soon as we know any more, that information will be on this channel, and as soon as we are they are available, we will be reviewing them on the main channel. I've also been testing the RAW HM1000X in laminate and chassis version, with mixed feelings. I'm currently talking to the supplier and manufacturer about them, 
before this video is released. BSA Gamo have released a Gen 2 of the 10 shot brake barrel swarm and I've tested that with the review due out very soon. The M1A replica has also been reviewed along with several others. I've been a busy boy. I also ho have a brand new gun from a new manufacturer on test that has never been seen before. I'm currently working closely with them and Vector Air to help them get the new gun right before mass release. And I am working on a review of that currently. <sighs> And finally, in this section, I have three new guns from Emax on test. So hopefully that review will be coming out very soon. Now, what about this little device? Well, if you live down the lane or have a field or anything gated and you're looking for a bit of an early warning device or maybe a bit of a deterrent, this could be right up your street. It is a new product from Bisley and it's called the Mini Claymore Mine. Actually, no it's not. It's called an Alarm Mine which can be set up with either a trip wire, believe it or not, attached to a gate or the like. Indeed, anywhere that could use this to trigger an early warning blast from a 12 bore, bore uh, blank cartridge. Now this will not only give you a heads up, but will probably give the intruder a bit of a surprise. Now this isn't designed to take anything other than the blanks. And as such, no license is required to buy the blanks that give this little device the warning bang. Now I'm sure there are a load of idiots out there who are going to be thinking of goodness knows what with one of these. Well, don't be that daft. It is a terrific tool for what it is intended for, and they're only £20 UK, plus your cartridges. Oh, and you do need to be over 18, though, to buy one. What about these, then? How many times have you just wanted a small tool to help clean out, scrape or pick, and how many of the kids' toothbrushes have you nicked just so that a small area can be cleaned out? Well, these came across the AAR desk the other day. They are a set of double-ended cleaning picks with various head shapes, sizes and types to get at those hard-to-reach areas. They are made of high-strength polymer, so they aren't going to scratch or damage your pride and joy. They're stiff enough, but they do have a bit of flexibility. And they're very light as well. Then there is a set of three different strength bristles for different material brushes with two head sizes on each brush and a couple of those double-ended polymer picks. These are really useful and I would think would add to anyone's gun care kit. They cost around £7 UK, so they're not overly expensive. Also coming this way is a new cleaning kit with everything involved, including pulls and everything that Vector Air have just updated. Nice molly bag as well. Hopefully you've got a feel for this channel and what it's going to be about and aimed at. Pardon the pun. We will be bringing you news and sneak peeks when we can, such as the new Glock 17 Gen 5 pellet version, with a difference that hopefully I can tell you more about next time. Don't forget to drop us a thumbs up and above all, hit that subscribe button, then the alarm bell and click the notification part to make sure you're active. A lot of this information comes from manufacturers who have been very supportive and, of course, from Vector Air, who have their ear to the ground and always looking for great new stuff. Please feel free to share this and, of course, leave any other hints of any secrets that you may know of in the comment section. Well, that was just a taster. And before I go... Here's a word from somebody you may recognise. While you're at it, go and check out these guys, the Airgun Factory on Facebook. Dead easy to find, just search Airgun Factory. 
We and Vector Air are proud to be affiliated with them. Gordon and his team are a great bunch of passionate air gunners that are hugely supportive of our support and community. The group includes gunsmiths and RFDs that are willing to help newbies and old pros alike. Don't miss out on their regular competitions and giveaways as well. See you soon. Stay safe. Shoot safe. Thank you for watching and hopefully we'll see you next time. Until then, join us on the main AAR on Air channel and stay safe and shoot safe. Bye for now. I need to lie down after that. Whew.